Hello, Moglets. Today we're going to be discussing this new artifact set. I've done well over 100 runs. I think it's closer to 150. We're going to check out what we got, my future plans for it, and uh, yeah, who I'm going to be putting it on today and in the future, etc, etc. If we go here to filter, you can see we have 78 Tenacity of the Millith and 65 Pale Flames. Uh, these are the new artifact sets, as you can see here. We have raised a couple of them, have not equipped them yet. We'll be doing that in this video as well. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be pretty fun. Before we get started with that though, I do want to thank today's video sponsor, Moonlight Sculptor. Moonlight Sculptor is a story-driven MMORPG developed by the same guys that developed the super popular sandbox MMO, Arch Age. The story itself is based off of a famous Korean light novel called The Legendary Moonlight Sculptor. Make sure to pre-register before May 24th so that you can get exclusive skins for your character, alongside some other stuff that'll help you out. A few of the other special things this game features include weekly tournaments, such as the Tournament of the Champions and Battlefield of Valor. We also have special dungeons that are always changing, filled with lots of loot, XP, treasures, and of course, powerful bosses. They also do have a nice array of life content, such as decorating homes, cooking food, fishing, crafting, etc, etc. There's also something called sleep mode where your characters can be offline and continue to farm that precious loot and exp and just lots of other neat little features that you're gonna have to play yourself to find out as always a link to pre-register for moonlight sculptor will be in the description down below as well as the community on twitter and discord for moonlight sculptor so make sure to check those out as well all right so let's go ahead and start with tenacity of the middle as you can see we have raised a couple of them to plus 20 uh, let's go ahead and look at these uh, ones we've gotten to 21st. Here we have an HP Sands. This will most likely be going on Hu Tao or Zhongli. At the moment, I am thinking more Hu Tao because I think she benefits a little bit more from attack, uh, especially with a five-star weapon having high base attack there. Probably this one as well with that Elemental Mastery as she benefits more from that than Zhongli. Uh, but ultimately, I actually want a full set for Zhongli because of the super cool four-piece set. Literally seems like it's made for him. This effect can still be triggered even when character who's using the artifact set is no longer on the field. You know? Because he's going to have his pillar there still hitting away and, and still triggering this effect. So I definitely want to give Zhongli a full-piece set. How about we do this a little bit differently because I don't want to just like go through my artifacts as a list. We're going to try and uh, gear up Zhongli. Uh, with this full set. Hopefully we have, you know, the good enough stuff. Right now he has a completely different set, half Oblige, half Archaic Petra, which is definitely good too, but you know, 20% more HP plus that cool effect, more shield strength, more attack for everyone. For Hu Tao, I'm just going to give her a two-piece and probably swap out Gladiator and keep the uh, Pyro bonus. But let's go ahead and start with Zhongli. So I'm just going to actually strip everything to start. So I said this one's most likely going to Hu Tao. This is gonna get a little complicated because some I do wanna give to Hu Tao, but then like, I don't wanna replace the Pyro, so it's kind of hard actually. <laughs> we'll need to check if we have a decent Hourglass and Feather. As for the Feather, this one has, you know, 58 Elements Mastery, which, you know, it's not that great for Geo users in general. As for the Hourglass, the only one I have is this HP, and I think I don't even have another HP, period. Oh, I do have one, but it's... I mean, it has potential. It has crit rate and energy recharge, so it could be good for one or the other. That must be a more recent one, though, because I remember going through all of my... Uh, uh, all of these, you can see here, these 12, and I couldn't, like, find one. It's so crazy that when you want HP... Okay, there's another one, but it's, like, really, really bad. Uh, then you barely get HP. You know, we have more attacks than HPs, which is very unusual, uh, but I digress. I think this one's good enough to at least raise a little bit to try, but the bad thing is uh, we currently have basically only five stars right now. Well, of course, we can throw some artifacts we don't need anymore. Yeah, maybe this HP pocket watch that was just on Zhongli we can perhaps throw in there. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that and just pray that we get mostly crit rate and injury charge. Yes, yes, I know. It's not that good anyway. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Look at that. Oh my god. I've never been that lucky. Especially when throwing a high rarity in there. What? Okay, I'm 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 insanely hype right now. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Let's try and find some lower rarity ones like this. Maybe crit damage here that but on the other hand, it is a crit damage on the cryo set, which is, you know, quite good. Just main stat and set wise. Yeah, maybe this plume. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and throw this sands in there. It is HP main stat anyway. The subs are pretty good, but 
I can't really see a use for it right now. I definitely don't care at all if it goes to two flat death or attack right now because it's already pog. Ah, 2x bonus, and it went to energy recharge again. This has got to be a Zhongli one. He really likes energy recharge, or mine does at least. I love energy recharge on him. I mean, Hu Tao is my priority. I want her to be the best she can be, so I'm going to give the better one to her, which might be the crit rate, actually. She is lacking a bit of crit rate, so I'm actually going to give this one to Hu Tao and the other one to Zhongli, which is still good. But then I guess she's actually done, more or less. Uh, we we got to check her, her stats now. She has 2,000 attack, which is incredible considering her base. Yeah, see, she still only has 69. Nice crit rate. So she definitely had to take the higher crit rate one here. I also do have one pyro damage bonus uh, for the uh, HP set as well. Then we could go off piece for something else. Um, to get more crit rate, but this doesn't have crit rate either, and I believe this does. Yeah, 13.6, never mind. That's I don't really know what else I could do. Maybe a different feather, because I guess Zhongli will need one as well. It does already have 6.6% .6 though, so it's, it's a little bit hard to get more than that. You can see I did raise some here. There are some plus fours and plus fives, but only I think one of them has actually crit rate on it, and our fourth sub was flat HP, so I was kind of meh. This one has potential as well, because it starts with four subs, and there's already crit rate attack elements mastery, so that could be good as well. This one has a lot of potential as well if we get crit rate as the fourth sub. I just checked the rest and none of the others are worth even trying. So we're going to enhance this to four and see if we get crit rate. If so, we'll raise it higher. Just going to use some of these lava walkers because I don't really have any plans for them right now. It's elements of mastery, which, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good feather for Hu Tao, but still, I really need more crit rate. We're just going to continue using our five stars. Elements of Mastery. I still need crit rate to go up, though. We're going to get it to 12, and if crit rate doesn't get touched, then we're probably going to give up. Or maybe just give this one to Zhongli. I don't know, but then he doesn't need Elements of Mastery. Let's see. It went to Energy Recharge. Well, I mean, it... Uh, I'm probably just going to stick with this one and try and get one specifically for Zhongli. More Elements of Mastery. Stop it. 2x. And more Elements of Mastery. Maybe I should give it to Hu Tao. I don't know. Yeah, this one has 65. Mine does need more Elements of Mastery also, but 65 to 58 isn't that big of a difference, and then I lose 3% crit rate. Nah, I guess I'll keep her with this one. Give this one to Zhongli, whatever. Guess that means Hu Tao is done then. Got that 20% HP, 15% Pyro. Currently sitting at 35k HP, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, again, 70 crit rate, 190 crit damage. Now on to Zhongli, 4 piece set here. Uh, so we're just gonna do that. It's pretty pretty pog flower there. This other feather, this other sands, no crit rate unfortunately. I actually was able to find a really cool geo damage bonus goblet as well. It turned out okay, considering it's on the right set, plus geo damage, 8.9 crit rate, 13 attack. Not bad at all. And then we can actually go off piece here, which I'm probably just gonna give him back the uh heart of depth that he had on before. Um it's all right. A lot of energy recharge, a lot of crit damage, crit rate main stat. Uh, that's what he needs. He currently has uh, Favonius still. I just haven't bothered changing it out because I really like that energy recharge. I could consider Lithic Spear. He is from Liyue. Hu Tao, I believe, is from Liyue. But I just don't care much for the attack main stat. Let's just take a look at his uh, stats right now. Yeah, his stats are obviously a lot less impressive. You know, 50 crit rate, 100 crit damage whatever 1400 attack he even has less hp than hu tao but yeah zhongli is uh still kind of a side character compared to hu tao so that's just what it is uh but you know the four piece set there i think will help the party more than himself obviously uh and yeah i think it i i think it's fine as a support so basically what you've already saw were the best of all those artifacts we got those 75 or so um, which, you know, there definitely are some decent artifacts in there. I'm not going to say they're all bad. As for Pale Flame, I have not done anything with this yet except raised a few pieces. You can see a plume here. Pretty sick. 7-4 crit rate, 21 attack, 10 energy recharge. Very nice plume. I think it either... I don't think it touched HP, actually. I am planning on having this set for Eula, as it seems like it just works well for her. And it makes sense. You know, they released this alongside the Zhongli banner and the, then the Eula banner coming after Zhongli. So, you know, the two new sets for the two characters. It makes sense. Here we do have a somewhat promising flower. Unfortunately, it did go to flat death there. So I kind of stopped with it, but we'll get it up to 16 and see. Because we do need a full set as well for Eula. So may as well, you know, be a little bit more prepared. And we can actually start dumping some of this stuff in there already. I think that's a technically perfect, well, not really for Hu Tao or Zhongli because there's no HP percent. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to actually lock it. Okay, 
Oh, okay, okay. We're going up to 20, boys. Come on, no def, no def. Ooh, all right, energy charge, I'll take it. So now we got two out of four. We need two more pieces. I doubt we have any physical damage goblets here, but we're gonna check. Oh, we do have one, eh. Maybe if the fourth sub is good, it'll be acceptable. Let's go ahead and raise this a little bit, see if it uh, goes well. I'm a lot more lenient on goblets, so it, as long as it's not like flat death or something, we'll probably raise it. Come on, it's elemental mastery. I don't think that's gonna be that great for Eula. If she's gonna be a mostly physical a damage dealer, maybe it'll, I don't know, may, maybe it'd be okay. She is still cryo after all. And eight, okay, our luck has run out it seems. I know I have a lot of good physical damage goblets, so we're probably gonna try and make that the off piece. We do have a crit rate here, although that is a little bit uncertain right now as well. And as far as crit damage goes, we do have, oh, they're all bad. HP, def, HP, HP, flat attack, def. Energy recharge attack could be decent. And then flat, yeah, they're all bad. Well, this one could also be decent if it depends on the fourth subs all the time. And what about sands? I assume just attack. Oh, okay, this one could be, oh, it's HP. Attack, uh, no. So I think that's probably gonna be it for now. I might still consider raising this, but let's take a look at my other physical damage goblets. We currently have four of them actually raised. 10 crit, eight crit damage, a little bit of elements mastery, not bad. Six crit rate, 14 crit damage. Well, okay, they're not that good, I guess. 10 energy recharge, 15 attack, and 21 crit damage, nine, okay, yeah. I think the first one here that Shanling has is actually probably the best overall. But yeah, now that I've changed uh, Zhongli and Hu Tao quite a bit, let's go ahead and do some gameplay. We have our daily quest to do. That's just the go-to for uh, chill showcases, I suppose. Haven't really taken much note about like their numbers beforehand, but uh, now we should have the, the, the uh, boosts. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm seeing some stuff. Watch this, 53k charged. I do believe that was a vaporize, but still. I know Hu Tao had oblige at first, so her ult has been suffering a little bit, but ultimately I still think I prefer her basics and charged doing a lot more. I just like how that is, honestly. She also has too much HP right now, so we gotta do something about that. That helps a little bit. What else we got? How does she do without a Zhongli shield? Was that 26k charged? Not bad, not bad. Oh, here we have some water stuff for some easy vaporize, which is also cool. I actually don't use Binet too much with this team, to be honest. I should actually swap him out uh, because yeah, Hu Tao doesn't really want to be healed. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at this. Yeah, so 10k basics. I couldn't see that charged there, but 10k basics, no vaporize or anything yet. We can, of course, try some vaporize. They are currently wet. Uh, 51k, nice. Also, we don't have Zhongli shield anymore. Let's go ahead and change that. Unfortunately, the uh, water stuff ran out, so we're gonna have to do like uh, Mona E, Zhongli E, then uh, Hu Tao, boom. I couldn't see. I'll have to slow that down in post-production. Let's try this again. Let's just do her ult, actually. Yeah, 135 there, not bad. You think you're safe up there? You really think you're safe up there? Well, look at me now. Look where I am. I'm looking down on you because you're a dummy. Boom. You're so dead. 174k. <laughs> so if you can time Binette's ult right, you can get like one really big hit. Uh, because, I don't know, maybe I was able to get that ult off before she was above 50%. I couldn't tell. Let's try that again. Just gonna do uh, Zhongli shield. Uh, come on, hurry! Yeah, that 174. It's really tough though, because Binette heals so fast. Last one here I don't think is a fighting quest, so we're just going to do that later. <laughs> Whoops. I suppose that'll pretty much do it. Overall, I'm satisfied. I do feel like uh, both of them have gotten a little bit better from these sets. Whether that's because Zhongli is now also increasing the attack with his E, um, or because Hu Tao has a little bit more HP and thus, you know, better boost and stuff because she also has Staff of Homeless. Whatever, it seemed to actually do pretty well, so uh, make sure to tell me what you think, though, about these new sets, uh, our little artifact raising journey and all that in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.